I guess just don't give up too easily. I know a lot of guys uh, from college and from other bands who were way better than any of us, but just gave in too easily. If you were the last one standing, chances are you might end up be, being eventually where you want to be. Um, so yeah, I guess patience is a virtue. This is something quite primal about just trying to snap your drum kit in two <laughs> and hitting it really hard. But I think also, I mean, if you were going to put anyone who like wasn't a musician in a room or on a stage with instruments, the first thing they're going to pick up is probably drumsticks and just because it's the most fun thing to do and the most kind of instantly rewarding as well. I mean, you hit it, that's the sound. But I don't know, yeah, I just really, I like hitting things with sticks and I really enjoy making people's seats shake through, the, through all the subs in the arenas and stuff like that. Yeah, I, ne I never get tired of that. So yeah, just a primal thing of wanting to hit stuff. <laughs> I mean, I've wanted to be a drummer since I was 10, 11 years old, and most bands are, are really fortunate to even get one album out, um, let alone three now, and this is like our fifth or sixth tour of the US, which as a British band is something that everyone like, aspires and dreams of. And uh, yeah, I just feel like, immensely grateful and it doesn't last forever as well. So enjoy it while it lasts. It's a quarter past midnight as we cut through the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Streets are getting restless, good times, bad decisions. Yeah, yeah. It's a quarter past midnight and the sirens are mending some hearts. But with the losers on the back seat, singing love will tear us apart. It's a quarter past midnight. I mean, I always point that Dave Grohl was my biggest drumming influence purely because uh, I think he's really musical. Like, he makes non drummers want to air drum along to his parts, which in itself is a talent. Like, rather than just doing some over the top inverted press roll that'll make a few guys kind of scratch their beards and go, oh, that was really cool. It just makes everyone want to get into it and. Uh, possibly pick up the instrument. I've always said like I'd rather be a musician more than a drummer and kind of help create music and that's kind of I think he really embodies that whilst adding in also obviously like a ridiculous amount of skill and power and yeah just, just making it fun. Yeah but it's even just kind of like seeing people clap along or even move to the music. It's like, you'd, like they wouldn't do that if they weren't into it. So to have, have that sort of impact on a, a room full of people, again, never, never gets tiring. But it's funny, yeah, because I mean, I've only really played gigs with those, those four boys for like the last seven or eight years now. I haven't really played with anyone else apart from like a handful of sporadic things helping here and there. So I always say that we're, we're less friends now and more like brothers in terms of we eat together sleep in the same space pretty much on the tour bus, play songs together, hang out together. As I say, like, it's a privilege just to, just to basically tour the world with your mates playing music. I mean, who wouldn't, who wouldn't, wouldn't want to do that? 